testosterone, the primary male sex hormone, plays an integral role in contributing to the robust metabolic functioning of multiple bodily systems and is responsible for many of the physical characteristics specific to adult males, ranging from bone growth, sex drive, sperm production, etc. However, the anabolic effects which testosterone has on one's ability to grow muscle tissue and lose fat mass is often what is of interest as, much like you would expect, with higher levels of testosterone come a greater ability to grow bigger, stronger and lose fat faster. Now, that's all well and good, however, after peaking during puberty, total testosterone levels fall by roughly 1.5% per year, with many becoming deficient in their later years of life. The result is thus a cascade of negative adaptations, ranging from decreases in libido, bone density, muscle mass, increased fat mass, fatigue, etc. And while there are treatments available to counteract this decline, such as testosterone replacement therapy or TRT, there are also a plethora of natural options available that one can attempt first to increase their levels back up to normal ranges, which is exactly what I'll be diving into in this video. Can we just appreciate what a beautiful morning it is once again in the home of the potato? But you read the title of the video, how to increase your test naturally. So before I get into this, let's get straight in to some reference points so you actually know what numbers you should be expecting for. So according to a study by Travis and et al. 2017, normal test levels range between 264 and 916 nanograms per deciliter. However, as you can imagine, there are definitely benefits of being higher in this range of which I will discuss later on in the video. But for now, we have banged out the steps, four and a half thousand. And once again, I am planning on doing the weekly haul tomorrow, but we do still need to pick up things on the go. And for those who enjoy this bakery up, oh, oh my God, <laughs> they're stocking it. What is that, pan chocolate? Oh, in the back we have, no, they're not baguettes. Oh, they're pan chocolate though. Look at those, who is it? No, it's not Carolina, who, Katarina. No, <laughs> I can't remember her name. I don't know who she is. Anyway, first item, of course, our daily dose of spinacho. Hello. <laughs> we are actually gonna pick up some of this fruit makes frozen blueberries, triple XL, you don't always get those. Then I guess while I'm here, some penne pasta. Go for some reduced fat cheddar and then some of the regular mozzarella as well. And then I have a new creation to show you post-workout. So we have these smoked back bacon medallions, like reduced fat, you're only talking like 1.7 grams of fat. And just like that, the goods have been acquired in the Dunn stores bag. Dunn's, Dunn's. Oh my God, anyway, here we go. Of course my car won't start once again, but we do have the green light on the go, so you will find out whether we make it in 3, 2, 1. We made it, and the pre-workout is in. Go click the link down below, and maybe I will be able to afford a new van to drive around in that doesn't break down. Go click it! <laughs> So back to testosterone, you heard me say higher levels are better, okay, so let's discuss why. So in terms of muscle gain, super physiological ranges, you are talking a load here, as you can see in the graph by Bassin et al. 1997, who essentially compared both natties with or without lifting versus a group who injected 600 milligrams of test, again, with or without lifting, showing that the roids without lifting led to 3.2 kilos of fat-free mass and a whopping 6.1 when lifting, compared to natties who lifted who only only gained 1.9 kilograms. To be honest, that's still really, really good. But essentially, that's saying that when you inject super physiological ranges of tests, you can pretty much gain double the amount of muscle without lifting when compared to naturals, or pretty much triple if you lift. So yes, that is why high testosterones are very, very important in terms of muscle gain. So anyway, we're here about to smash our legs and we are not really in the mood, but nonetheless, you will find out how we go again in three, two, one. Oh my God, guys, that was, Horrific, full workout, as per usual, will be down below, but we ticked it off. Boom, there we go, 2020, bish bash, bosh, finito. I wasn't expecting it to be that easy, but we got that done, and I know I look like absolute shit, but it is time for my new creation. Okay, and here we go. Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Scott. So we have two tortillas molded perfectly in cereal bowls. That is the key. Look at them. They're hugging the bowl. Then we have some cheese, some eggs. Because over here we have the piazza resistance, the leftover orgy, I like to call it. Pretty much just found whatever we have. So we have potatoes, some rice. Then we put two of the bacon medallions in there. We have a load of micronutrients. We have spinach, pepper. So you know the deal. No, you don't actually, because this is the first time showing you this. But let's christen this the absolute orgy wrap of the gods. Alla Scott, perfetto. With an apple, of course, for micronutrients. So yeah, essentially this is just another way of eating a burrito bowl. You just scoop it all out, and then when you finish it, you wrap it up and just <laughs> Oh God, that's going, oh, no. 
Anyway, okay, quickly back to testosterone science. So we covered super physiological ranges. You're probably saying, Scott, I'm not gonna have that amount in my body. So what about smaller dosages? Well, as you can see in the graph again by Bassine 2001, this time 100 milligrams per day still actually showed to increase fat-free mass, muscle size and strength and decrease fat mass. Again, all without lifting. Therefore, overall, according to the evidence both by Bassine, along with another study by Mauser et al. 2016, as seen in the graph, it's clear that there's pretty much a dose-response relationship between higher levels of testosterone and favorable lean and fat measures where the higher you are the more muscle mass you're going to have and less body fat which as a body builder is definitely what you want right anyway that's that for now but what we do is pop them back in the microwave melt up the cheese so yeah let me know if you try the scott or do you have peace tag me in your instagram stories but for now do you see the spoon i did not think that through because the end result is me in dundrum holding a spoon <laughs> in front of everyone, but yes, we're in Dundrum of all places because you know I need headphones, so there's a TK Maxx and then the biggest Tesco's and then also there's a Pennies downstairs. You gotta love Pennies, so I'm gonna have a look. So here we go, Pennies, and look at this. We are greeted by pretty much like a decked out gym bro, even with the sliders. And for the overseas folk who haven't got a clue what Pennies is, it's pretty much the best shop on the planet for like cheap clothes and pretty much everything. And yes, I am talking super cheap, so you're talking like six euro for gym joggers. We got oversized hoodies, 12 euro, of course. Oh, that's pretty nice. And this is why it's where dreams are made of, guys. Look at the discounts here. 45 euro for this duffel jacket, reduced down to a tenner. Everything on this aisle is a tenner. The sliders there at the door were 14 euro. They're not bad, but I wouldn't really wear them. We have more joggers, so you have like the Alpha Elite camo ones, probably more, yeah, 16 euro. And then look at these guys. Is that like ever forward? Max Tuning, you need to get your ass here and sue pennies. You have swim shorts, gym shorts, everything. You even have like protein bars. This place is amazing. And just like that, about an hour later, we are walking out with pretty much a full gym wardrobe for like 50 quid. And the next stop, a very quick stop, we need to get going. TK Maxx for a bit of market research on the headphones. They have the huge over-ear ones, but I want ear pods. So the only ones they have, they're actually pretty good. They're like the Jaybirds. They come in silver and then also black. And then they have these like ear pods, like 22 euro, and these ones are 16. And then the rest over here are again all wired. You have a load of cases, but I'm not dealing with wires, guys. And then here we go, the final stop. Tesco is the motherland numero due. So here we go, definitely better than Ballybrack, but still not great. So they do have these wireless ones, but they're like 25 euros. So again, very interesting. Comment down below which ones I should go for. But while I'm here, there is one more thing I want to check out because I was watching OG Matt Ogus yesterday and in his videos, he had rice cakes, but like caramel rice cakes. And we are in business. These are exactly what I'm thinking of. So essentially what he did was like use them as a macro capper instead of like cereal. So yeah, you're talking super high volume per cake is only like 11 grams of carbs and they are huge So what I'm thinking is I'm not getting bored of my Cocoa Pops But I definitely want to try out like literally like you'd pretty much get like eight rice cakes for the same amount of Cocoa Pops I use dribbled with all the toffee yogurt and the Halo Top So that's gonna be the pickup but for now, let's get back home. So here we go three two one <clears throat> Thank you very much. So yes, very very interesting macro capper. I will keep you up to date But while I'm here last week, I did place an order for bulk powders whey protein. So I hope this works <clears throat> Well, the delivery has arrived another bag of whey protein and then also another thing of creatine Not that I really need it, but it was like 45% off and like free shipping. So yeah chocolate cookies It'll keep nicely. So we're not gonna open this but you already know how we celebrate with a new bag of whey protein Thank you very much. Yeah, you need to go click the link down below and show your appreciation to these sick transitions. And then the second thing is of course bish bash bosh. A big ass bowl of proats, three slices of toast with some blackcurrant conserve and a whole bowl of cantaloupe for micronutrients. Perfecto. So we've spoken about testosterone in terms of muscle gain and fat loss, but another thing you have to consider is muscle preservation, which is very important when trying to lose fat, okay? You see, testosterone isn't just anabolic, but it is anti-catabolic. So when cutting, apart from losing more fat, you will also preserve more muscle. And this is confirmed in a study by FUI 2016, where you can see that over the course of a diet, normal men lost 2.9 kilos of fat and four kilos of muscle, as opposed to the testosterone treatment group who lost 5.7 kilos of fat and only 0.6 kilos of muscle so they lost more body weight and it was almost exclusively from body fat no muscle loss at all anyway now you know why high test levels are super beneficial so next we're going to discuss how to increase your own levels but first we're going to smash this down and then you know the deal oh we bang out the steps on this crisp evening please someone be my friend and we're not at the motherland numero uno we're at super value because man has a voucher 
and super value have cheap eggs. So here we go, we have 12 or we have 18. But if you follow me on Instagram, you know we go for three of the eight. Oh my God. Three of the eggs. And then I don't know if you can see it, but we're gonna pick up some jelly. Me and Mama Murray love our jelly. We go for an orange, a raspberry, and then a strawberry of the twin pack, those three. And there we go, the full pickup for the night. But for now, before I drop these, let's go for a transition through the forehead. Yes, people, we have a big ass pot. Oh my God, spilt it everywhere. Pot of pasta boiling up nicely there. And this is where the magic happens. Oh, the pasta bake of the gods. We got cheese, kidney beans, veggies, tuna in there. And then we preheated the oven as per usual. So that is gonna go on top to crisp up nicely. Close it up and you know the deal. And no, you don't because while that's cooking up, let's go back to the science. And the first point you need to do to increase your testosterone and that is not be too fat or just to stay within a healthy body fat range. Because as per Roman et al 2011, they observed a decrease in both total and free testosterone and an increase in both total and free estrogen with increasing body fatness. With another study by Morgi 2003 confirming similar, where as you can see in the graph, there are almost two clusters of people, one lean with high levels of test and one obese, both pubic and post pupil which are like 40 to 50 percent lower now the proposed reason for this according to wake 2004 is that with moderate body fat comes an elevated level of aromatase expression which can essentially convert any testosterone that you have to estrogen within your body so the more body fat you have the more of your testosterone will be converted to estrogen and there's a huge meta-analysis out there of 24 studies by corona et al 2013 confirming this where they showed that weight loss was actually associated with an increase in both bound and unbound testosterone levels with an average of 120 nanograms per deciliter or basically a 20 to 30 percent increase in your testosterone just from losing fat now it does sort of depend on how fat you start but still losing fat and staying within that healthy body fat range is the first thing you need to do to optimize your testosterone but for now the pasta bake of the gods oh my days is complete beautiful yes people it is the next morning a beautiful morning banging out the steps and as per usual the macro capper will be on the screen it was very very good i'm not gonna lie we managed to fit in seven of the rice cakes then like the vanilla yogurt and then a halo top birthday cake and the only issue is that with the rice cakes they were like what two euro thirty per sleeve and the whole sleeve is gone so unless i can find like a cheaper tesco's alternative i probably won't be forking out every day two euro thirty for a whole sleeve but still maybe every now and then Yes, people, we are home just in time for the oat cake. Look at it. Respect it. Oh, perfect for later on. Yes, people, the pre-workout is in. And I already was thinking that a lot of you are going to ask what I picked up in pennies yesterday. It was like five hoodies, so the B-roll will be on the screen. It was like five hoodies for like 50 quid. But anyway, let's get back to the testosterone science. Because now you're probably saying, Scott, look, if too fat is bad for testosterone, surely the leaner you are, the better. No, wrong. There comes a point where being too lean is also counterintuitive, okay? Because as you can see in the graph by Rosso et al. 2013, on the changes observed during an actual bodybuilding contest prep one of the main hormones to take a hit when going from like 14.8 to 4.5 percent body fat was testosterone so you can see in the table that test drops all the way down from 9.22 to 2.25 nanograms per milliliter during a prep so a 77 percent decrease but then in the recovery phase where they gain back to that sort of 14.6 percent healthy body fat levels it pretty much fully restores so yeah it seems to be that there is this optimal range which i am confident in recommending saying like roughly 8 to 15% body fat that you want to stay in. So that is literally two points banged out the way. Now, let's go smash our chest. Here we go. Okay, so as we expected, yesterday killed me, but on paper it was still pretty good. So yeah, conditioning as well was an absolute whopper. And here we go. My legs are so empty, so I hope I don't fall off this. But here we go, 20 minutes. Boom, there we go. 20, 20, bish bash, bosh. We got it done fam, still felt very easy, which again is sort of weird, but anyway. So post-workout meal time, I was actually gonna have pancakes, but something this morning actually changed my mind. So, Scott, what are you doing? Yes, I know I wasn't gonna have this meal, but look, I have to take advantage. We are getting stocked up. Fresh baguettes, courtesy not of Carolina, but how many do you want? One or two? Oh, they look good. That's a stupid question, you already know, two. Okie dokie, two of them it is. There we go. So here we go, the javelin throw. Three, two, one. Oh, sh Jesus. Okay, there we go, two fresh baguettes. And that can only mean one thing. The breakfast baguettes of the gods. 
Yeah. <laughs> Correct, an absolute staple, you know the deal. But let's move on to the next thing you can do to optimize your testosterone. And it does actually have to do with your diet. So before we move on to macros, let's talk about calories. Ideally, you won't be starving yourself and you will sort of sit at maintenance. Or if losing fat, you will keep your deficit really, really small. Because as seen in the graph by Carilla 2008, rapid dieting on low calories for as little as two to three weeks itself led to a 63% drop in testosterone in wrestlers. And this is again confirmed in that Rosso et al. 2013 study on contest prep where you can see that another likely cause of his 77% testosterone drop was that during his whole prep he was consuming 2,300 calories whereas his theoretical maintenance seems to be somewhere up around that 3,700 calorie mark. So yeah, do not starve yourself or at least keep the deficit really small if trying to lose fat or just sit at maintenance and optimize those test levels. So that's calories out of the way. Next is going to be macros. We're going to heat these bad boys up, get doing a bit of work and then you know what we're off to? That's right, the weekly haul at Aldi, the motherland numero 19. <laughs> Jesus, how many fucking grocery stores have we been to in this video? And I might record a few things I pick up, but you know, it's been a while since we did the Aldi adventures. Boo 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 boo. So here we go. First on the list, a mini mouse toy, some slippers, a soldering iron set, a stovetop kettle, a frozen potty seat, perfect for pooping, the Joe Wicks Lean in 15 book, a popcorn bucket, a Toy Story lunchbox, and how can you not forget, the wildlife camera. Of course, as always, if you like the Aldi adventures, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, but for now, can we do a sick transition? Yes, here we go. Thank you very much, Minnie, but yes, it is time for the oat cake of peace and a whole bowl of cantaloupe for some micronutrients. But let's get back to testosterone, okay? So we touched on calories, I said I would touch on macros, okay? So overall, in 2004, Salin and et al. conducted a study assessing the relationship between diet and anabolic hormone concentrations, concluding that out of the three main macros, both dietary fat and protein were significantly correlated with higher concentrations of both serum and free testosterone. However, interestingly enough, excessive protein intake actually seemed to cause tests to drop. So overall, Fat seems to be the key, okay, which is confirmed again by a study by Hamelainen, 1984, where a decrease in fat from 40% to 25% of total energy intake resulted in a modest but significant reduction in testosterone and free testosterone level, okay, with another study by Wang et al. 2005 showing pretty much similar, with a low-fat diet resulting in 12% decrease in test, with Dorgan as well, 1996, showing similar beneficial effects for fat, and that a 40% fat diet led to a 13% increase in test compared to an 18% fat diet. So yeah, overall, I would say get a minimum of 20% but don't feel scared of going higher maybe like 25 30 or even 40 if you think your testosterone levels are super low anyway once again let's appreciate how thick the oat cake has come out if you're a client you know but yeah we're gonna heat it up and then get cracking back into a bit of work and we are back in the hermit room and I forgot to actually show you this we managed to pick up caramel rice cakes in Aldi they were like 69 cents and you know what I will probably overlay footage now of just a few bits and bobs uh, that we picked up because I did record but yeah there was one more thing I wanted to say about fat in taken that type of fat also seems important as per the graphs by Volick and Kramer 2017 which showed that out of total fat intake both saturated and monounsaturated fats seem to raise serum testosterone levels best with polyunsaturated fat actually decreasing it suggesting that if you want to increase your testosterone I guess it wouldn't hurt to try up your monounsaturated fat or even your saturated fat intake and you're probably asking Scott what do those come from well they definitely don't come from rice cakes but instead come from things like olive oil canola oil peanut oil correct we are multitasking, banging out the steps, all while providing you value, so hit the like button. Nuts are pretty good as well, in particular like almonds and then like hazelnuts. They don't have hazelnuts, but yeah, they're good. Pumpkin seeds are another good source. Avocados are pretty good and they're on offer, 39 cents, super saver. Of course, any like nut butter, so peanut butter, almond butter. Hopefully you get the point by now, but look who we've bumped into, Carolina. And can we do a sick transition? Go on, do it for me. Yes, people, Carolina, transition of peace to the burrito ball the size of her head. You know the deal, there was no Cajun chicken, so we went for turkey, and then we have the wraps. Perfecto! And here we go, it is the next day we're about to work out, and here's a bit of real talk, okay? So researching for this video probably took about six hours, and I'm only literally like halfway through all of the points and all of the science that I want to sort of touch on. And the video is like pretty much 20 minutes long. So yeah, the macro capper, by the way, will be on the screen. Fresh box of honey puffs and a cookie and cream gianni. But yeah, so what I'm gonna do is just stop the video now, and then just carry this over, touching on all of the other points on how to increase testosterone naturally in my next video, because I don't want this to be like a 30 minute long video. So again, hopefully you liked it and stay tuned for some Whopper content. But for now, I will see you all in the next video. Hope you all have a good day. Boop.